You don't know. Bad man. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Zara Nicholas TV. If you don't know who I am, I'm Epic Zara. Welcome, thank you for joining us. If this is your first time, if this is your like second, third, fourth trillion time, thank you for supporting us. So you guys, today I want to talk to you about how much I flipping hate, hate with a burning passion, coconut oil. So before we get into that, I'd like to remind you to do a few things I always remind you to do. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please be sure to share this video with all of your friends. And last but certainly not least, don't forget to comment and tell me guys, what products do you hate? Tell me, let me know. I'm trying to find out because I know I can't be the only one who has this struggle. And if the product you hate is coconut oil, tell me why and tell me what it does to your hair. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's get right into it. This one will be private, show Tell me, love. Tell me what you want to know. I go give you all that more. Bad man, I feel your fire. Why not? This one will be private, show Your friends, they tell you, say, I hate your body. So guys, I feel like a lot of naturals are finding out that coconut oil is really not the business. Like people be saying stuff like coconut oil can mend relationships, coconut oil can save your marriage, coconut oil can bring back your edges. Like really? <laughs> guys, I'm pretty sure it doesn't do all of that for everyone. I mean, maybe it has saved a few marriages, but I haven't heard of anything like that. So I don't know. But as for me, I've always really hated coconut oil, you guys, like... So anywho, let's talk about my hair. My hair is extremely protein sensitive and my hair hates coconut oil. These are the things that make my hair really dry, really gross, flipping straw-like, starts breaking off, and all sorts of other terrible things. <laughs> If your hair is similar in that way, if your hair does not like protein, chances are your hair is not going to like coconut oil because coconut oil retains excess protein. I'm pretty sure that's why a lot of people love it because protein for most people makes the hair like really shiny and it makes it strong, deters breakage. For me, it does the opposite. So you guys, the final straw for me when it comes to coconut oil was when I was doing my hair. You know, I was like, let me do a pre-poo, <laughs> like a good natural, let me do a pre-poo before I shampoo my hair. I pre-pooed with coconut oil. Not only did it pretty much sit on my hair, my hair was like straw. I was really confused. I was like, what's wrong with my hair? Is there something I'm doing wrong? Am I just not taking care of it well? For the longest time, when I was using coconut oil to pre-poo, I literally just thought that, well, maybe my hair is just damaged or something. Little did I know, coconut oil is not necessarily for everyone. After I had this epiphany, after this light bulb went off in my head, I realized that, wow, you know what? I don't need this. I can find alternatives to this. I don't have to use it. So I stopped cold turkey and my hair has never been happier to be quite honest. For some people, their reaction to coconut oil is purely allergic. So it doesn't cause their hair to feel a certain way where it might, depending on the nature of their allergy. It also affects their skin, scalp, and other parts of the body, even ingesting it. For me, it's more of a situation where coconut oil just doesn't agree with the chemical makeup of my hair. That's really just it. It's not trying to work. And that's fine. I don't need it to thrive. But it's unfortunate because I feel like a lot of really popular natural hair products have two things that my hair cannot have. One, coconut oil. Two, excessive amounts of flipping protein. I don't understand. I just wish it was easier in this big wide world of natural hair to find products that were good for people like me, people who cannot handle coconut oil and people who cannot handle protein. In fact, if you guys want me to make a video featuring all of my updated favorite products, let me know because these products work great for my super protein sensitive hair and my hair that hates coconut oil. So you guys, in this my journey of hating coconut oil a lot, <laughs> I'd like to talk about one interesting thing that I found. I don't know if this is the same for everyone. Now for me, most products that I use, well actually not even just most, like 99% all products I use that have coconut do not work for my hair. And I know it's not even not all 
or most or some it's literally the large majority i really feel like i can say pretty much all products that contain coconut oil do not play well with my hair it's just a huge struggle but my holy grail product wild growth hair oil contains coconut oil it's like the third ingredient or so i'm gonna put the ingredients list next to me so you guys can see i really don't understand how it works so well for my hair and I'm thinking that maybe another oil somehow in conjunction with the coconut oil works well for me. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it somehow offsets the negative side effects I experience whenever I use coconut oil. I really don't know you guys, but it's very interesting and it's actually got me quite shook. So until further notice, I've kind of shelved my wild growth hair oil and I've been experimenting more with almond oil, which actually makes my hair super duper soft and seals in that moisture. I must be honest, I must be transparent. It doesn't seal in the moisture nearly as well as my wild growth hair oil. But yeah, you guys, I'm going to do some more studies regarding this. I'm going to do some research or whatever because this is really quite strange. I don't understand it. So guys, now we've talked about how much I hate coconut oil, my life experiences with coconut oil, the fact that I deplore coconut oil. Now let's talk about some other oils that don't really work well for me because they have similar properties to coconut oil. Now, funnily enough, Jamaican black castor oil does not play well with my hair. It makes my hair, again, really hard, really dry. So if your hair is protein sensitive and or does not like coconut oil, chances are this is not gonna work for you either. I can use it on my edges, but I've started mixing it with my almond oil because that makes it tolerable. For whatever reason, almond oil just makes my hair much better. And the Jamaican black castor oil with the almond oil make my hair feel really nice. Avocado oil also doesn't work for me because again, it has that similar property to coconut oil. And same with jojoba. Like, I don't know who else struggles from this. Like, can I get a break? I'd like to use oil on my hair and most of them don't work for me. I'm pretty sure olive oil by itself also doesn't really work for me, but I'm gonna get back to you guys because I really need to look into that a bit more. So you guys, this journey of discovering my hair has kind of been tough, I'm not gonna lie. When your hair doesn't like coconut oil, which is every natural holy grail, and your hair also doesn't like protein, which is in most products that promise hair strengthening, hair nourishing, and all this and all that, it can be a struggle to find products that work for you. Most of the ones actually that work for me are not necessarily conventional natural hair products. But I've managed to make do and I thank God for that. It's been a struggle but it's been a beautiful journey at the same time guys. And there are products out there that work for you if your hair has those similar properties to mine. Trust me. So anywho you guys, this is my whole spiel about coconut oil and why it grows and why I'm never letting that thing touch me ever again and how much I hate it, you know, just normal stuff like that. <laughs> Guys, sorry, don't mind me. I can be really extra, but just, you know, normal stuff like that. Anywho, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to comment down below and tell me about the products that you hate, whether it be natural oils, certain type of shampoo, conditioner, what have you, a certain ingredient. And if it's coconut oil, tell me what it does to your hair and why you hate it if you love coconut oil that's great i'm happy for you i'm glad that you can use it and it's really awesome that it allows your hair to thrive so guys thank you again so much for watching i'm going to talk to you in another video please don't forget to subscribe share and give this video a big thumbs up god bless you guys again and i'll see you later Steady on time, yeah, don't be late, nah, nah Said I'm in love with you And I'ma give you anything you want And I'ma give you anything you need Bad man, yeah, why not me? Said I'm in love with you And I'ma give you anything you want And I'ma give you